You might have guessed it, but we're on the road again. <laughs> this time we're going to... Drumroll. Canada! Yeah. For the first time we're going to Canada, we're very excited. And we arrived to the airport a little early because supposedly there was going to be a chaos here. It was going to be full of people, but it's pretty empty. And now we're just here waiting because the check-in counter is not even open. Not all. Canada, yay! We're going, we're going to Vancouver, by the way. And we're going to meet Yannick's friend there. And we're going to see everything. And we're going to speak Canadian. <laughs> through security in Hamburg. Oh, it's kind of dark. We made it through security in Hamburg and we're walking to our gate. It wasn't that chaotic, but still fine. Not much to say, to be honest. It was way too full upstairs. There was still a flight going before ours. Very blue. Janik is checking the specs. <gasps> Let's change the specs. Wow, wow what so a transition. Better. Looks so much better <laughs> with the right specs. Oh, now we have the right specs. We went downstairs to this area and it's super empty. Upstairs is super packed. There was a flight going before ours, so there were a lot of people sitting on the floor and it was just messy. And here we have a perfect view of the flights. Of the flights. Of the Flugzeuge. <laughs> So the reason why we're going to Canada is because two years ago we had a voucher for Airbnb and we had to do something because otherwise it would have been expired. But COVID just started so we were like ah, let's just book something in two years from now because it's probably over by then. <laughs> that didn't work out but I always wanted to go to Vancouver. I have a photo of this island of Vancouver in my room so I proposed that idea to Joss. She said looks nice let's go there. And now we're going there. Also that voucher that we had from Airbnb was like credit and at the end we were supposed to get like $10,000 worth of credit. That didn't happen but we'll tell you more about that gossip in Canada. Right now we have to get to the gate and board. Let's go. We are in Amsterdam. This airport is awesome, y'all. Yeah, it is. It's one of my favorite airports. Actually, yeah. my favorite because I haven't been to so many. Yeah, for me too, until now. There's so many things to do. You never get bored. One time I had a layover here for 10 hours and I didn't go outside of the airport. I just stayed here and had fun. There's a piano. There's a museum. So our flight should be boarding in like an hour. And in the meantime, Yannick is going to buy me some ice cream or something. That's news to me. Joss is in Europe. That's a video. Great, I thought it was a photo. Joss feels super cool with our small card. Embarrassing, I thought it was a photo when I was posing. <laughs> Good morning. We are in Vancouver. This place looks nice. So yeah. far, first impression of the airport. Not bad. So the flight was pretty good. We didn't get to sleep basically at all. But it was nice. We didn't have much turbulence. Oh, well, now it's very dark. Right now we are going to go to border control and hope that everything is fine. It should be. And then we're gonna see Vancouver. I'm so excited. Our first time here. I feel like most of our trips are to places that we already know. Yeah. And we've never really traveled to Canada. This is gonna be a first, a unique experience, bro. So here in Canada, they ask you for some papers, like a form that we had to fill out online. There we have some of the vaccination proof, plus our vaccination certificates. Let's 
Let's go. I'm no longer carrying my suitcase because Yannick's friend has it. We're looking for our Airbnb, but this place already looks awesome. Here we are, Vancouver. All right. Uh, we okay. Are... <laughs> Hello. We're in Vancouver. <laughs> Yes, welcome Vancouverites. Why are we here in Vancouver? For that, we have to tell you a little bit of a background story mm -hmm. and just can start. For those of you that don't know, Airbnb used to have an affiliate program that anybody could be a part of. Basically, you would get a referral link that you could share with your family, friends or anybody you wanted. And then you would get a little bit of credit once they completed their first stay on Airbnb. It was a win-win situation because we, that gave the affiliate link to someone else, would get a little bit of credit and the people that would sign up with our link actually got even more credit than we did. Yes, and you could use that credit to book any accommodation. If you had enough credit, you could stay in places for free. So that's what all the travel YouTubers were using back in the day and that's what really helped us be able to travel when we first started our YouTube channel because we were using some of the credit that we got from our referral link. Yes. Now they used to divide this credit in two sections. One was pending credit and the other one was like usable credit. The actual credit. We would only get part of the credit when the person that signed up with our referral link booked their first accommodation with Airbnb. Yes. If you just sign up but you never used Airbnb, we didn't really get anything. So we had a lot of pending credit but not that much actual credit. Yes. Because a lot of people just sign up but never booked any stay with yes. Airbnb. So, and at one point, so many people signed up with our link that we had over $10,000 of pending credit. Of pending credit, just like blocked there. It looks so big, uh, <laughs> like such a big number. Yeah. But we couldn't use it. Now, sadly, around the time when the pandemic started, Airbnb decided to cancel this program. That's why so many of you have been asking us where's our Airbnb link but it doesn't exist anymore because the program is gone. Yeah. So you guys also don't get any credit anymore. And sadly, with the program, also our pending credit disappeared. Mm -hmm. Like, into nothing. Yeah, all of those people that sign up because we recommended Airbnb, like we didn't get anything from that at the end. Yeah, hopefully you guys still got your credit for yeah. the first day. But around that time, we still had some actual credit available. And sadly, this credit would have just expired if we didn't use it fast enough. All the credit expires after one year. In between, we were like, why is it getting less? Yeah, it was just becoming less randomly. Yeah. So we freaked out immediately. We thought we have to book something. And with COVID around, we thought maybe in two years from now, <laughs> things are back to normal. There's no COVID anymore. There's no COVID, so no travel restrictions. So let's just book something anywhere. Yes. And we decided to go to Vancouver. guess where? Well, so now, this is the last time we get to enjoy Airbnb with the credit. We hope you are down to follow us on that journey. It's gonna be interesting because in the next, next episode, episode... Was this the worst idea we've ever had? And we're starting our hike. Or was eating cheeseburgers before the hike an even worse idea? Oh my gosh. I like it. It's, it's not looking great. And why didn't we turn around when we had the chance? Subscribe to find out.